everyone and welcome back to the Magical Fishery Tour hosted by Colette's Marine Tank. Um, so today I'm off to Crack and Corals. Um, it's about a 45 minute drive from where I am now and I'm excited to see what they have in. They usually have some great selection of zoas um, at a really reasonable price. So I'm going to go and see what they've got and see what else they have in. Um, and Another exciting thing is that I've got my Hellfire torch on order, so I just need to go and pick that up. So, very exciting, can't wait to do that. Um, I've got an ICP test that's just arrived as well. So I'm gonna be doing a full ICP on the tank um, just after the brown jelly disease. I'd like to know if there was anything else that could have affected it, like metals in the tank, blah, blah. Um, so, we'll get all of that filmed over the next few weeks and then I'll hopefully be able to show you all every step of the way. Um, so yeah, so off I go, cracking corals. I'm gonna get some water. I've brought with me my coral transporters um, to pop my frags in that I get. Um, these ones are designed by RHL Designs. Um, I'll tag them in on the um, post so that you can have a little look. Um, and they do have Colette's Marine Tank. They look amazing under the blue lights, but they do have my um, name on, which is really cool. Um, right, guys, taking some stickers with me just in case. And anyone that is there, I'll see you there. Anyone that's not, you'll get to watch it on video anyway. Take care, guys. That wasn't going to say, take care, guys.
Moxie's Aquarium Stay. Um, I met another guy called Matt. Um, it was lovely to talk to people about what tanks they have, comparisons of the different lights that they use. Also, Don was able to give us all some tips on out of the lights he's used, um, what he prefers. Then we're talking about skimmers, calcium reactors, all sorts. Um, but it was just really nice to be able to spend quite a lot of time getting to um, see what other people's views are in the hobby, uh, which is the main part of the hobby, which I love. Um, and meeting different people as well while you're inside the shops. Um, and they help you to pick different corals. And um, so that was really handy. So I have come out with some corals today. Um, I've got a beautiful new, well, obviously it's new, a beautiful big um, torch coral to start off the um, torch garden a little bit quicker. Um, so there's quite a lot of heads on it by the looks of it. It's quite a big colony um, and it's the toxic green with purple tips. So love it. Um, the other thing that I got was, I think it's a barley slimer. Um, it's two sticks together. And then I also got a red digi. So I'll show you when I get home. Um, the red digi is quite a big um, colony of it um, and the same for the Bali Slimer is quite quite big in size as well so I need to figure out where I'm going to put these things but I'm hoping that they can go at the tops of the tank and then the torch can go towards the bottom of the tank and um, just need to figure out exactly where because it can't be touching anything else so it's not stinging anything and um, but yeah really excited to show you guys exactly what they look like um, and I'll show you at the end of this video uh, there's also a little tour around cracking corals Okay everyone, so here are the corals that I managed to get today. So I think this is a barley green slimer. Um, this is the toxic green torch. So I think there's about seven heads on that. Um, and then here is the red digi. Um, so it's gonna be pretty good to look at in the tank once I've got them sorted and figure out where everything's going basically. But I'm currently going to acclimate, drip acclimate for half an hour then I'm going to dip each one of them and then I will get them added into the tank. Okay everyone so the corals have been acclimated and are now settling um, as you can see this is the torch it goes quite nicely in that big gap there and maybe just gonna have to move this little it does actually have a gap there but I maybe have to move this low bow um, just a little bit in case it extends out too much. Then we have the barley green slimer here and then just behind it is the red digi. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy. It's added quite a bit more colour to the tank, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, and yeah, can't wait to get my hellfire. I think my hellfire is going to go here. Um, so it's like centre stage of the torch garden as well. So, yeah, let's let them settle and see how big they get. 